when I came down here from London in uh, in in the late night, well, I came here in the beginning of the 90s, but started working here in the late 90s, having been in London from the early 80s. We were there used to a very bespoke market. We were used to a residential sales market, and we were we were used to a, a, a great melting pot of different people that were buyers. And when I came down here, there wasn't really a strong residential market. It was all buying off plan, and it was investors, etc., etc. It was inspection flights coming in from the UK and a certain extent Ireland. So it was a very focused market. You had the German market as well, but predominantly UK and, uh, and English market. Then when it started slowing down and the, the off-plan market, we started having problems. We started having problems with the, the planning of such projects. We had now come into the Euro, the, the change from the pesetas into the Euro very much boosted the economy and it went haywise. People were buying a contract and flipping a contract and everything was more money orientated than rather being a residential market. Then it started happening and I will say down here now we've probably had uh, a recession from way back to 2003, 2004, it started moving and the bubble started bursting then. I think you will see that more and more real estate will be conducted from the early stages via the web, via the internet and then when people actually come down here because there is so much to offer for each individual agent, the basis of what it used to be of person to person actually happens when you come down. The, the people don't spread themselves when they're down, but they come with a whole list of criteria and places they want to be. Valuations are staying the same. We are not valuing properties, putting them back on the market at a, at a higher price than last year. But what we are seeing is that we in this office had two situations of a word I haven't heard since the late 80s in London, which is gazumping, um, whereby one agrees to buy something and somebody comes in and pays a higher price prior to exchanging contracts. We had that in 2014. Scandinavian banks are just so pushing for lending. So you are looking now that Scandinavian banks are offering fantastic facilities for Scandinavians buying here. So you can have a interest only loan um, over 10 years for something as low as 1.8 to 1.5% interest only per annum. So, and a lot of Scandinavians like the idea of having some kind of amendment in euros. So they are very strong force down here as well. So, but I think with the banks, the Spanish banks started being slowly behind us very carefully behind us. I think with the foreign banks being far more optimistic, we're looking at a market that is growing a lot of, you know, showing a lot of potential to being a very strong force in 2015 and ahead. And again, Marbella is back in the sense that you are having good investors coming in, investing serious amount of money on improving the residential resale market. And let's hope we see the Chinese. I had one Chinese buyer last year, an investment buyer. We'd like to see the Chinese come in here. Um, they are sniffing around. There's uh, some Chinese investors around for a couple of big hotels. We need more hotels and upmarket hotels. Um, so with them coming in, it would be, that would be uh, a very positive thing indeed. The lovely thing about it now is that you're really, really seeing that Marbella is back and that it's something that in, during the last year for, for 2014, that you saw that there was an increase in activity and an increase in interest again. And you're seeing that the quality of people that are here, the quality of restaurants and everything else that are opening up, that it's back and coming back to what it used to be. And I think that's the, that's the best thing of all of it. And I don't know if, you, you know, you'll see the streets are being tidied up again and there are more money coming into Marbella now. 
and where we had for years and years and years that all cranes stopped and you didn't have cranes in, in either of the, of the uh, residential areas, now you see most streets will have some kind of refurbishment coming in. But there's only one thing I can say that Marbella is most definitely back and you see it on the people coming down. And the young people are back, you know, the, the, and the golfers are back in, in, in full stream. But especially the younger generation are loving it down here and a lot of money are being poured into making their life good as well. So all in all, very positive.